a large table and 100 coins all laid out in front of you. But for inexplicable reasons, you have been blindfolded. You can't see what any of the coins are. Instead, you have been told in total there's 30 heads and 70 tails. But you don't know which coins are heads or tails. Only their totals, 30 and 70. So here's the challenge. Can you divide the coins into two piles such that both piles have the same number of heads? Two piles, same number of heads. Mm, impossible. Surely it's impossible. But actually, no. It can be done. I will give you a clue. You can't see any of the coins, but you can pick one up and flip it over. Pause the video, give this problem a try if you like. Alright, that's enough. Here's the solution. First, we make two piles with any of the coins. A small pile with 30 coins, and a large pile with 70 coins. Now, of course, we don't know how many heads or how many tails are in both piles. But that's okay, because then we pick up all the coins from the small pile and flip them over. Yeah, we flip all of those 30 coins over. And believe it or not, it is now guaranteed that both piles will have the same number of heads. What? Yes, and it's easy to prove it too. Let's reset. We begin by making two piles. Pile A with 30 coins, and Pile B with 70 coins. But we are also told there's 30 heads altogether in total. So the number of heads in A plus the number of heads in B equals 30. Yeah, but 30 is also the number of coins in A. The number of heads in A plus the number of tails in A equals 30 as well. As you can see, we've got a common term which we can cancel away. Tails in A equals heads in B. Huh, that's weird. All we've done is made two piles, and yet already we are guaranteed to have the same number of tails in A as heads in B. Probably you can see where this is going. Flip all the coins in A, all the tails become heads, all the heads become tails, they all swap over. So yeah, in the end, the two piles, A and B, have the same number of heads. Huh, well then. I guess it really works. I don't know about you, but I feel like I still don't get it. To understand really what's going on here, we need to take a closer look inside the machine. It all seems to stem from this equation. Tails in A equals heads in B. So let's do the whole thing again, except this time I'm going to keep track of how many tails are in A and how many heads are in B. 100 mystery coins. Don't know what they are, except that there's 30 heads and 70 tails in total. But before we even begin, in a sense, we already have two piles here. It's just that one of the piles has no coins in it. Yeah, so technically we could say there's zero tails in A and 30 heads in B. Now, we pick up a coin and move it from B to A. Was it heads or was it tails? I don't know, could be either. Let's consider both cases. If it was a heads, then the number of tails in A is still zero, and the number of heads in B is now 29. On the other hand, if it was tails, then the number of tails in A is now one, and the number of heads in B stays at 30. Hmm, either A goes up while B stays the same, or B goes down while A stays the same. Wait a minute, that's it! Hang on. Let's do it one more time. I want to be sure. Moving over the second coin now. Again, was it heads or tails? Don't know. Let's see then. If the first coin was heads and the second one was heads as well, in that case, tails in A is still zero, but heads in B goes down to 28. Yeah? Case two. First coin was heads, second coin was tails. This time, Tails in A increases by 1, and heads in B stays at 29. Mm -hmm. Case 3, tails followed by heads. Actually, this one turns out to be the same thing as heads followed by tails. The order doesn't matter. That's convenient. And finally, case 4, tails, tails, 
So tails in A goes up by 2, and heads in B stays at 30. I can see it now. Can you? Let's reset. So, number of tails in A begins at 0, and number of heads in B begins at 30. So at the start, the distance between them is of course 30. Right, now we begin. We move one coin over, and either tails in A increases by 1, or heads in B decreases by 1. One or the other, but not both. Never both. But in either case, the distance between them goes down to 29. Move another coin over, same thing. Either tails in A increases by 1, or heads in B decreases by 1. But either way, distance is now 28. So after 30 steps, of course, they will be equal. The distance between them will be 0. We don't know exactly which number they'll finish on, but they will finish on the same number. Certainly. Genius! Whoever came up with this, give him the Fields Medal immediately. This is brilliant. And of course, it doesn't have to be 100 coins, 30 heads, or 70 tails. Nah, it can be any number of coins. Any number of heads or tails. Sometimes I wonder, you know. Someone must have been the first person in history to think of this puzzle. Can you imagine being the first? The inventor. One day you're just sitting around, thinking about coins, and then suddenly it hits you. I don't know if I could take it, to be honest. Brain overload. Shutting down. Dies. What a way to go. Death by maths. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.